Welcome back to my review of the kind feeding system for your child while you mama is away from her baby. This is part three of the three part review. The first uh, review we went over how mama will use it while to pump while she's away from her baby. Part two we went over how the caregiver will use the feeding system while mama is away from her baby. And now for part three, we're going to move to the beyond, introducing solids and beyond. So um, what you will do if you're making your own baby food is you will blend it in whatever way you're blending it. If you have a, um, a blender or you're cooking on the stove or a food processor, um, then once you have made the food, you're going to put it into this container. I have found that when I'm transferring stuff over into a bag, it's easier for me if I stick it back into the case of the bottle um, that you used when you were bottle feeding. I'll take off the lid here. And you'll recognize my juice. All you're going to do, it has a little groove so it actually fits perfectly into the lid. And you're going to tip it upside down. And you're going to pour it into your bag. So from here, you would do everything exactly the same way that you did for the breast milk. So if you're making a big batch and you want to store some in the fridge or you want to freeze it for later use, um, obviously making a nice big batch and then having your food ready to go when you need it is a, a really great thing rather than trying to do it one at a time. So once you have it all in here, you would squeeze out all the air, put your lid on, and then everything would be the same. So imagining that this is your baby food, your pureed baby food, you would date, date, and how many ounces that you have in there. And perhaps, um, depending on how good your memory is with a infant, a, a young child in the house, you might want to write what your actual blend is in there. Is it sweet potatoes? Is it carrots? Did you make a blend of mixed veggies? Um, is it a uh, puree from Thanksgiving dinner? Whatever it is that you have in there, um, label that as well. And then you would store it either in the refrigerator or in the freezer. And then when you were ready to use it, everything would be the same. You would put it in here, you would heat it up to the time um, that is on the time card that comes with it. It's also round, so if you want to use the um, baby food jars, then you can actually put the jar right in there. Um, when you look at the card that has the times, it actually breaks down into what container it's in and what temperature you're starting at. So all of them talk about is it starting at room temperature, is it starting at refrigerated, or is it starting at frozen? Is it a glass container? Is it a plastic bottle? Is it a, is it a bag? So it breaks it down. You would just follow the chart um, and then how many ounces are in it. Um, one of the other things that we did notice as well is that we um, figured out the time for the mason jars. So if you want to, if you are the family that likes to can, maybe you want to can a whole bunch of stuff out of your garden and be able to use that later um, as baby food. Then you can go ahead and make your baby food, can it so it's sealed, and then when you're ready, you would stick it in here. I can tell you that um, when we fill it with six ounces of water, um, to warm it to body temperature, uh, we use this now for to warm our distilled water for the neti pot. And um, so we discovered that if we uh, go for six minutes for my husband or six and a half minutes for me, so maybe um, six minutes and uh, 15 seconds would be the average, that is about the right temperature for us to use it. So you'll have to play around a little bit with the mason jar and see which one works for you, but we have noticed that even beyond um, introducing solids to our youngest, we actually have a use for this after that. So we're really excited about being able to use the mason jars in there later. And then moving ahead, when you're ready to use this, after you've warmed it, what you would do, um, and again, I really like these. I feel like it gives me extra stability so I'm not, um, I'm not spilling anything um, while I'm trying to get it ready. But you wouldn't keep it in this when you're actually feeding the solid. But you would take the lid off and then it comes with uh, two options. So this whole part here, this three part um, to introduce solids, actually came as a surprise gift 
within my gift set. So once again, going over the differences, there's a starter kit. The starter kit will come with um, your case, this hard plastic case, came with two. It came with a starter set of these bags. It came with the tray. It came with one of each flow of the nipples. And it came with the cleaner um, to clean the nipple. Um, and then if you upgraded to get the gift set, it came with everything the starter set came with and it came with the bottle warmer. And then I'm not sure how long um, they're going to add this in as a limited surprise gift, but I actually got um, this as well as a surprise in there, so I didn't have to go back and buy this um, piece later. Um, so this is the part that you would use to fill your bags, and then these are the parts you would use to feed your baby. So this first one I'll screw on there, you'll recognize, and it's funny because I was wishing that they had this option when I was um, introducing solids to my now two-year-old, and he loved the pouches, and I was like, why can't we make pouches at home? Well, guess what? Now you can, and we are, and the eight-month-old loves it. Um, so all I did is I screwed it on there, and um, you have the tip just like if they were having the fruit pouch. Um, so you can make your own smoothies or anything like that, even for when they become the toddlers and you don't have to spend money on the big kid applesauce fruit pouches either if you want to make your own organic stuff at home. So um, again, it, it, you can't really squeeze it out and control um, what they're getting. So I usually just stick it on there and then I remove it when I'm ready. Uh, to feed them. And so then your other option, if you're not quite ready for this one, is to use the spoon. So that one snaps in just like the, the nipple will, and it has a little hole in here. Let me hold it over this so maybe you can see. I don't know if you'll be able to tell or not. But you just squeeze there. See? You would squeeze, it wouldn't be liquid coming out, so it wouldn't just, I'm just squirting it all out there. But you would just squeeze a little bit of the food and you could feed them right off of the spoon that way. So they really thought about everything. They really thought about, hey, you know what? This is gonna be an investment that can carry you through the whole first year and beyond if you want to keep making those pouches for your kids as toddlers. So this is how you would use your system with your um, homemade baby food. Um, sometimes uh, when we're traveling or out and about, we don't have the homemade stuff with us, but I actually like this system enough that if I end up getting food or something that is not in this container, um, uh, the eight month old prefers eating with this system. So we end up just dumping it out of whatever it's in and into the bag anyway, because it's her favorite way to eat her food. So um, we would do whatever she wanted and she gives this product two thumbs up. So again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything from those of you who have been using this system, and I want to share with other mothers so that they can learn from trial and error from all of us, please leave your comments below. And I look forward to seeing you guys all again soon. Um, if you would like to subscribe to the channel, please do and stay informed with other things about pregnancy, mothers, and babies. Thank you. Have a great day.